welcome back today we will discuss about one more template so we just go to power apps and click create from left hand and now select <coughs> templates employer employee engagement survey so we click it and uh, the survey app name here and click create Okay, skip this and there are home screen, loading screen, question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and finish the screen. There are 5 questions in this survey. So we just go through this application, make our my own application. Click on it and select OneDrive and just create it our own app okay now we just Check this survey, it's working or not. No error, uh, no error here on the ad checker. So now we click it. Play this survey. Fabric can connect. Employee engagement survey. This is a label, and this is also the rectangle. Inside the rectangle, the two labels available here. Get started. And this survey consists of five questions. The progress is triggered at the top of each screen. So click next. And there are what is your role? Individual contributor, team lead, manager. Basically, I am a team lead. What department do you work with? Human resource, customer service, administrative department. Click it. How many hours do you spend working on email? Uh, seven hours. Do you see yourself working here in one year? Yes. Other comment. I have working on it. So click next. Yeah, fabric connected your survey looking for <coughs> next month survey is when the click explore the other app you can uh, just go to the www.mac.powerapp.com because its functionality you just check the functionality of this and go to uh, the home screen uh, there are this is a label and this is the button okay this button is connected uh, navigate to landing screen underscore fed and this group consists uh, two label label one and label two and this is a rectangle okay and text box also the label of and simply navigate the next screen so go to the uh, this survey consists of five questions and landing screen having two label uh, three label and two buttons it's a navigate question one and fed error 
one underscore v false it's a variable the false variable okay basically on the landing screen on visible no or uh, code available on visible and the screen transaction uh, the false and the screen transaction fed or the false both are landing in question one and this is uh, a label this question comes from here lookup questions question id equal to one dot question text so i will see the data source from our one drive because we select our own app Power apps. Click Power Apps and uh, go back. It's my file. Power Apps Templates uh, Employee Engagement the Five Minute Ago Data. This question, what is your role, comes from here and this one. Question 1. Question is a table name. Question ID is a column. This is a question ID and question text. Okay. That's it. And this is a filter option option is also table option text and question question id equal to one one id individual contributor One, two, three, four. It's depend on the radio. Okay, a radio button. So this is uh, on items, items property, and go to advance. Yeah, this one update context error underscore on the so on select. It's a on select value of error underscore v false is a, a on select of radio button okay that says the variable of this one and question one question two this is a uh, items filter option question id at question two this question selected because two one is one two is two This is our list box and list, list box is selected ID2 and this is the button back button navigate to option and underscore false navigate to option and underscore false is if is blank gallery dot selected one it's a gallery this is a gallery list box one dot selected text This button if is blank gallery dot selected one to update context error true uh, navigate question three fad it's okay and the back button navigate question underscore one this is a question option response and welcome 
notes. This survey is consists of five questions. This is also uh, comes from here. Team lead administrator and I am working on it. This is our data base when I create a survey. Okay. And the response. Well, I will show the button of submissions. Question number five. This is the next button. And all the coding. Uh, if is blank look up response user name equal to user dot full name response uh, it is not blank look up response response basically look up from the left response or user name equal to user dot full name so user is a column user name is a column this one user dot full name and update if update if function very useful for update the data update if response it's a table name user equal to user dot full name response id uh, second one response id response id answer one uh, radio dot selected text dot option text answer two replace concat list collect list collect administrative tool and the tools list collect this is a collection a list collect and option text only one text is available here option text This connect option text is blank. When you click it, <coughs> len concat list connect option text is blank minus one and one. Answer three is if is selected dot text option is no. Update context new survey patch patch function used on the response default response and response ID text count row. A response is plus one. Answer ready dot selected dot answer two and uh, answer three land concat answer four. Okay. On visible. Yes, this is the list connection. Clear collect list collects list box dot selected item text dot option text okay this is our collections created on visible this is screen that's it about when explore uh, the launch https web dot power apps dot com because we click it and go to this page okay this page so that's that is fine that's it about this